Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I want to show you how I made this card. This was made using scraps that were on my desk and then some little bits and bobs that I had in the drawer that were uh, left over from other projects that I never used. Um, so let me get started and I'll show you how I made this. Now for this I couldn't remember. There's a couple things I'm going to change. I couldn't remember what color ink this was. So I'm going to be using a couple different inks. And this piece of paper I don't think was stamping up and I couldn't remember. I couldn't figure out which paper it was. So uh, I'm going to be using Starry Sky, Pacific Point, and Bermuda Bay ink. I'm going to be using the color and contour these two here and the matching die that goes with that. I'm going to be using Nature's Prints. I'm using this stamp here. You can use any sentiment you want. I just, I mean, these have some great sentiments. This one just happened to be one that was already stamped and on my desk. I'm using the leaves from Pierce Bloom's dies. This die here is from uh, the painted labels dies. I may use this bow which is also um, from the Pierce Blooms. This is the die that cuts out the flowers. It's a um, scallop contour dies and this one came out of these dies as well. Uh, so I might use this label instead of this one just to uh, take the amount of products I'm using down a little bit. Now this larger leaf here, this is Old Olive. This one is Soft Succulent and this one is Granny Apple Green. And again, these were scraps that were in my drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Move this aside. And then I have a scrap of white to stamp on. These are those little strips that I had on my desk. Um, this one is one half inch by five and a quarter inches and that's Bermuda Bay. This one is one half inch by five inches and that's Granny Apple Green. And this is shaded spruce because I couldn't find that other color. And this is one quarter by four and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so those are those pieces. I have a piece of white which I have cut four and one eighth by five and three eighths and a thick white which is five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it and folded it at four and a quarter. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is a little bit of stamping. Let's bring this in. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to do one Pacific Point and one Bermuda Bay, I think. Let's start with a Bermuda Bay. I'm going to ink up this stamp, which is the shadow layer or the fill in layer. Stamp one of those. And then I'm going to wash it off. Bring in my chamois. It really needs to be moistened, but I think it'll work. on there trying to get off okay and then I'm going to use Pacific Point for the other one stamp that okay then I'm going to come in with the starry sky and this one see it there we go I'm gonna figure out how this lines up I don't think it goes this way I 
should have figured that out before I inked it. There we go. It goes like this, I think. Oop. There we go. Stamp it. It's not going to be perfect. It's all right. And we've got another one over here. Turn it this way. Make it go this way. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in this die. And I'm going to run it through my machine. And I've already done that just for the sake of time. And there you go. All right. Now, whoops, I need this still because I need to do the sentiment. Stamp the sentiment. And let's bring in this die. Bring in my machine. Okay, there's that. All right, then I'm going to let's find another scrap of white. cut this bow out as well because I might use that on this card. Oops. All right, there's that. Let me just show you how to cut out one of those flowers so you can see. It really doesn't matter where you stamp it. I'm going to line up the, um, the die. There's this one skinny one that goes with this one here. Well, I have that backwards, I think. There we go, this way. This might be Tahitian Tide, I'm not sure. Or it might be a color that is retired, I don't know. Again, there were scraps from my from my uh, drawer. There we go. Okay. Now well, let's put this card together. Move that out of the way. All right, the first thing I did was bring in this piece here. It's four and one eighth by five and three eighths inches. And my one half inch by five and a quarter inch piece of Bermuda Bay. I kind of centered that on this edge of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and use to humble mono multi glue. Don't need as much glue as that came out fast. And then I'm going to bring in a strip that's Granny Apple Green. Put 
some adhesive on the back of it. This one's going to go up towards the top of the card, almost to the edge. There's going to be about an eighth of an inch border, uh, space between them. Okay, we're going to bring in the shaded spruce one, which is one quarter by four and three quarters. And this one's going to go here. Again, there's going to be about that eighth of an inch. Okay. I'm going to bring in those flowers. There we go. I'm going to put one here and one here. This one's going to go on dimensionals. Let's bring in a, some dimensionals. I think I want them this way though. So I'll put the dimensionals on the back of this one. Put that one down there. Make sure I have room for my sentiment in there. I do. Okay. I'll put some dimensional on the back of the sentiment. Use the edging here. Off camera, I'm sorry. It's going to tuck in here. That. Okay, now we're going to come in with those leaves. We're going to tuck those in. Just going to use a little bit of glue on the back. Oh, but I didn't glue this one down yet. That would help. Well, this bottle of glue is the same kind of glue that we sell at Stampin' Up. But for a minute, there they were out of stock of glue, and I found this one at Office Supply. A little bit of a larger bottle. And then, oh, I think I cut these out of different colors, but that's all right. It'll work. We'll put this one down here. So it's, they're not on the same color. I thought they were the same size leaves out of the same colors, but they're not. That's all right, they were all scraps, right? Okay, and then this is going to get adhered to the front of our card. Okay, now let's see if we want to add this bow to it. I don't know. I think it'll cover up too much of the of the sentiment. I'm not sure I like it. Maybe right there. But I think I'm going to leave it off. Well, you could dress it up by adding some gems. Let's try that. And then I'm going to bring these in. Brush brass butterflies. Let's add some of those. Big one. Another one there. And let's do another little one up here. It's a little higher. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.